then we enter the program of this world. And this is not a new program, it's a very old program. It's a Luciferian program. That means they start to raise us up through our beloved father and mother, if you have one, in a program to end up in the slavery system we have. Because we are just a source to use. We are the value, we are the light, and they want to suck it completely. Like screwing the orange completely, sucking everything out, throw it away. Once they call this the American system, the American system, you consume it and you throw it away. And that's what's happening on this planet. It's going through your parents, they love you, they want to take care of you, they put you in the vaccine programs with a lot of chemicals to damage your immune system, it's in the um, school system, it's everywhere to be the perfect slave. I developed myself in a criminal way, covered by shiny import-export and so on. So I got, on a young age, I'm talking about roughly around 20, I had already these shiny things like cars you can only afford when you are rich. Start playing with, well, I, I played the Hollywood show, like the succeeded businessman when I was 20. And then most of them say, well, he has rich parents, of course, because otherwise, who, how can you afford this? But out of all this business, I start also being involved in um, currency trading of um, who was not um, with tax black money. So I start to be making a little bit of business with money. And then one of the guys in Brussels, who was one of my partners in dealing with currencies, said, uh, Hey, you are run around the clock daily with all your business and activities. Why don't you go in the money trading? We have license available and we can make a deal. And we did this through offshores, like no, nothing on your name. And uh, it could be a nice career for you. <coughs> there was one condition, a warning ahead. You have to put your conscience in the freezer in minus 100 degrees and I said no problem <laughs> hey I'm nearly dead so <laughs> no problem so I became step by step a servant of the big money step by step it was still taking some years to come in the higher regions and I get more and more excitements, like from Russia, Secret Service. They printed better dollars, American dollars, than the American dollars who were circulating from the Federal Reserve. Better quality. And they were printed, made, made, in, made in the USSR. And we get the assignment, we get our commissions, and we get the assignment to dump this in the market through bigger drug, drug dealers, uh, people who are dealing with weapons, all kind of criminal activity. Because that was a smoothy way to get um, all these uh, huge amounts of dollars in the market through the illegal channels floating around. And it was afterwards, it was just a part of the game to uh, have an economic war from Russia USSR in that time with America and in the opposite way they did the same but I didn't know that in that time so I, as a younger yo youngster like 24 25 I was already messing around with economic wars worldwide so after all this um, assignments they start to spot you like, hey, 
here's a bright guy, he's always knowing his way, like hustling here, hustling there, playing with the rules. And then they start to invite you more and more for higher assignments. Then you start to work for banks, independent. You're doing the dirty work for central banks, for multinationals, for governments, for what they call now terrorist uh, organizations, and all secret services. Hey, secret services? Yes. And then on top, like the peach or the fruit of the cake, churches. Wow, you get the whole palette where the money floats, the big money. And you get the invitation to join in these circles to move all the money they want to move worldwide. To start wars, to start all the misery in this planet. Because there is nearly no misery on this planet in a natural way. It's most of them is created because they keep the system running because it's a dualistic system. They make the money only because when it's dualistic. And if we have all the ships, this energy containers they use only to suck, if they are asleep, fine. You can do whatever you want. This is also the mentality of the elite. Well, they are not elite. <laughs> they are not elite. The people I worked for in the end of the days, you're talking roughly about eight, eight and a half thousand people on this world who run the show. And they are like, they are like who I was, completely afraid nearly dead, filling up the holes daily, never enough, surfing the monster of greed, the monster of more. And there comes Lucifer in, in the end. Because we are talking here about interdimensional things. This eight, eight and a half thousand became my friends, because it was really coming home. First time in my life I start to be with humans who understand me and I understood them. Because we, most of them were going through the same hell. They did it in a different way, different bloodlines, but they have also a lot of misery in their lives. Electric caves are a normal thing in the education of this kind of societies. This is not about humans. This is about a very evil dark force who joy, who really enjoy to destroy all life on this planet and it's still on. And I was joy enjoying them as well. I really, and I don't say it with regret because I'm going back now in time otherwise it's a fake I really enjoyed it to have the opportunity to destroy all humans and all life on earth nature was nothing it was to be destroyed we were hating everything what represent life what represent the creator of heaven and earth. Don't ask them, um, don't take this very light. You can't imagine, I understand that, not all can understand this, but this is going on till today. In the end, because I can give you all the details about everything I did in this world, like indirectly I was killing people. Like you are in a stealth bomber, dropping bombs. I did this financial-wise as missions, like destroying temporary the economy of Italy. And then later on, when you are in the financial market, you listen to the people who are involved, and they have a big laugh because some people were killing themselves because their companies were destroyed and they left behind 
woman with children and we have only a laugh about it. We joined it. That's the world I come out. My turning point was that I was so good in everything I did with my team that I was, in their opinion, ready for the last stage to be invited and um, sacrifice of children. That hits me. That was really going through my bunker. I couldn't handle it. It was hitting me like hell. I didn't go there. And I started to malfunction. And my whole career falls apart. Then, because I go briefly to this one, because you also can see my interviews, they notice this. Then they start to take me out of the system for a while, start torching me. And they want, because everything was in offshore, they want everything back because I own them, because I made everything through them. And they keep reminding me on the contract I signed. I didn't sign with blood. If I was signing with blood, that was the next stage, I was dead already. But this was a sort of gentleman agreement, and I still keep it, and I always keep it, about not mentioning names of persons, companies, and so on. And I'm a man of word. If I give my word, I will give my word forever. And if it's in the dark side or in the light side, it doesn't matter for me. So I came out, finally, and you can see it in the interviews. And then, on the end, my, my body was breaking down. Heart attack, hospital, da 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 And then the new, then I, I have also uh, out of body experience again to see what they were doing with me. And then back in the body, the first thing I saw was my mother crying, like he is alive again. Then I run through several private hospitals for a year to recover of all the damage. Even have to set my back straight again. Then I was for another eight years completely off the screen hiding in several countries on fake identities and after the period of nine years because I even we have the agreements even I gave them all what they want I was still um, afraid um, because they promised me to kill the whole bloodline so my my wife and my children in that time were also escaping also hiding but separate from me um, so, so in nine, ye nine years being undercover completely, um, out that of that experience, I, I, I noticed how it is to um, miss your children. It's, um, it's horrible to have a child uh, death, but not knowing where your child is is a bit more torture. So after 11 years, finally, I met my oldest son in that time and I was recovering, and I start to be build up a relation with life. I started to study in theologic way, studying the Quran, the Torah, the so-called Bible, because that's more or less document. There are some satanic pieces involved. And I start to meet the creator of heaven and earth, and that saves my life because he was the first one who really, really loves me. And that gives me the enlightenment to continue life because my first act of love was the real desire to kill myself. That was my first act of love, the first signal I was in a transition from death to a life. I want to kill myself in favor of the humans and life. So that was my first act of life, of, of love. So this involves 
more and more to be a social um, entrepreneur till the day as now it is and the last point I want to give you is if we want to have liberation don't look at outside anymore don't look at outside anymore the change will be from inside we the people on this planet have to choose different saying we don't want this anymore it's enough we can decide for ourselves to stand up to be as one again unity and diversity and we can cooperate worldwide with each other and tools for this are there because one of the main tools you need to transform is the financial monetary banking system I was coming out the tools are available like healthcare energy everything is already available on this planet the only thing we have to do is connect with each other unite with each other worldwide and say no more stand up be the change yourself and we will be liberating ourselves and our planet and I can promise you really promise you because I have still a lot of contacts worldwide the most still in the prison system the dark forces around them they are screaming because their child inside of this atomic bunker wants to go out in a safe world and we can create this safe world for these heavily damaged children so thank you mm -hmm.